Greetings, unsettled souls. This is if it's you are an idiot, you know it's the dumb D of the day. And it is, imagine that. Um this this is quite a dumb D. I'm I'm I'll just let it speak for itself. This is from InfoWars, Editor's Choice. I bet it was. Uh, it's originally from Zero Hedge. I don't like InfoWars. Well, fine. It's originally Zero Hedge, if that makes you feel any better. Cash for criminals. San Francisco will start paying people not to shoot each other. So, friends, if you're looking for a job, uh, one of the things I suggest is you become a thug, and you might have to do a little bit of time to get notorious enough, maybe just a couple of years. Do, no, don't kill anyone. Just, you know, do something to get yourself maybe locked up for a while and maybe almost kill somebody. You know, just hypothetically. And then when you get out, maybe say, I'm having trouble finding work now because I don't make me mad enough to kill. And they'll pay you not to kill. And then you can stay home. Granted, you gave up two or three years of your life in prison. But now you don't have to work at all. All you got to do is not kill somebody. Uh, and then again, if you hang around some of the people I do, that could be harder. I mean, it might take a lot of money. All right, friends, I'm trying to kid, but listen to this. San Francisco, may, they better pay me a lot. San Francisco may be best known for its poo and needle-covered streets. It used to be flowers. Pause. That's what liberalism has done to that city. You used to think San Francisco and think flowers in your hair. Now you think San Francisco and you think crap on your shoe. Um, they actually have six-figure poo patrollers, it says. There's a link to it. The liberal stronghold, driven into the ground under decades of Democrat leadership, is about to experiment with yet another, quote, fix to its self-inflicted wounds using taxpayer money to pay criminals and not to shoot people. So, uh, usually I walk into the place where I will soon be eating on Fridays. I got my walk in earlier so that I wouldn't be fat shamed. It's a reference to the other video. Look it up. Um, I'm not walking there today. I'm going with a friend. We're going to eat chow. Maybe, you know, maybe the city should take the money I give them in taxes and pay all the people who aren't going to shoot me on the way to get something to eat. Then again, if I, if I get a ride and they weren't going to have an opportunity to shoot anyway, do they get paid for that day or is that considered like they weren't called in? Well, you see, Sam didn't really walk to the restaurant today, so you were off. We're not going to pay you for today. But he is probably going to walk there tomorrow, so we got like time and a half because he's going really late. Exactly how is this going to work? In October, San Francisco will begin offering high-risk individuals. They are at risk. The killers are at risk. Not the people they may be killing. Look, look, look at this nice flip around here. High-risk individuals. $300 per month to not shoot anyone or to not get shot themselves. Now, see, that makes it even harder because there's probably a lot of people that would like to shoot me. Uh, this job gets harder and harder as we go. What's more, participants can earn up to $200 more per month over our incentives by hitting program milestones, such as landing a job interview. Well, then, <laughs> How hard is it to land a job interview that you deliberately don't get? So you apply for a job that you don't want. You show, their, you show up there smelling like alcohol with your hair unwashed. You deliberately don't get the job, and then you go back to getting the $300 for not killing Sam, or having Sam kill you, but, because he can't be shot either, remember, but you also get an extra $200 for going to the job interview that you purposefully didn't get. It's also if they comply with probation or consistently meeting with a mentor, according to the report. So now they're going to get paid just to talk about how they didn't kill somebody or for a mentor to tell them that they shouldn't kill somebody. Why are we paying the mentor? Don't ask that. Known as the Dream Keeper Fellowship, also cash for criminals, <laughs> the incentive will pair participants, not criminals, mind you, participants, at-risk participants, I might add, with newly hired life coaches from street violent, the Street Violence Intervention Program, known as SVIP, 
who were helped to take them to have to make the right choices and access services. Now, here's what that line sounds like. Hey, yo, what up? How can I help you? Yeah, I'm having trouble making the right choice. I don't know whether I should kill this guy down the street. No, no, you shouldn't. All right, I didn't know. Thank you. Ridiculousness. We know that 500 people in San Francisco is not a significant, $500 in San Francisco is not a significant amount of money, says Cheryl Davis, a proponent of the program and executive director of the Human Rights Commission. But if it's enough to get you in to talk to folks and to be able to make a plan for your life, if your plan for life doesn't already involve not killing somebody, you probably already are looking at I don't know, a chance of getting locked up for something that doesn't involve killing somebody anyway. And if you notice, it doesn't say that they get paid for just not breaking the law. They could technically, like, steal something or boost something. They didn't shoot anybody. They didn't get shot themselves. And they may still get paid. This gets better and better. The program is modeled in part after the nationally watched Operation Peacemaker Fellowship in Richmond. Oh, well, that's another liberal stronghold, which offers similar stipends uh, of up to $1,000. Well, that solves the problem of $500 not being much. You know, I think people could probably even crouch the need to want to shoot me for a grand. In 2019, a study, there's a link to it, published in the American Journal of Public Health, linked the program at a 55% decrease in gun homicides. So 45% of the people still were like, nah, man, I'd rather shoot you than get a grand. <laughs> people that dislike me that much too. And a 43% decline in shooting since 2010. The program will start off with just 10 participants in October and then expand benefits over another 30 high-risk individuals. High-risk individuals. By the end of the year, officials have already hired two life coaches for the program. Lucky them. What we are actually doing is trying to address the root causes of what's happened. $6,000 per person when you look at it annually is nothing if it helps deter criminal activity. <laughs> the article goes on, guys. I don't want to read the whole thing. I don't want to plagiarize it. Just look it up. I've read you plenty. Go to Zero Hedge. Go to InfoWars. Um... Let me get serious as we close out here. My house was shot last summer. Uh, we think that it was because of the Trump sign in the front yard. We think uh, my house is kind of up a little hill. We think somebody was shooting its Trump sign and it went, you know, of course, upwards. And uh, three shots, one stuck in the wall, one went throughout. Uh, there was two shots, I'm sorry. And then one went out bounced off of the cement wall that separates the duplex and landed in the duplex of a really good friend of mine and her boyfriend who were living there. In my house is usually just me, so there's not a huge loss there, but it's not unusual for... Oh, let me pick one out of the air. The person I'm about to have dinner with to have his three-year-old daughter stop by for a second if him and his wife visit. It's not at all unusual for them to be in and out of my side of the duplex fixing it because the other side, as you some people know, caught fire last year. And sometimes they have to get in my side to do things over there. So yeah, levity aside, all of this does matter. But the idea that we're going to pay people to not shoot other people might be a sign that maybe, just maybe, the direction we're going that has led us here to begin with isn't working. That, without a doubt, is a correct view. Friends, uh, get a hold of me at thecorrectviews at hotmail.com and Opera News. Leave me comments, of course, uh, YouTube and the one person on Rumble. <laughs>